Hi, welcome to my sewing room for the first time in 2023. I hope everyone had a very safe and healthy and happy new year. I hope you enjoy the video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe. I definitely want to do a lot more sewing this year than I did last year, and I have some really cool things planned and in store. So if interested in seeing what I'm gonna be sewing next, then please stick around. I'm very curious how many people made their own New Year's Eve dress, so if you did, please feel free to share information with me about it in the comments. And so with all of that said, let's get into the sewing of my New Year's Eve dress that I sewed. Typical me, a few days out from New Year's Eve, and I want to make a dress. So these are all of my different options that I have going right now. I've made this. I've made this twice actually. Each time out of quilting cotton and it fits me well. It doesn't need really any alterations a little bit um, in the bust and that is it. But I would also like for my dress to have sleeves. So I'm currently wondering if I could add sleeves to this. I have this sleeve pattern and this sleeve pattern and I don't know if that's a thing that can be done with this high neck and the arm side being what it is. I don't know if that's a thing. But then I also thought it would be cute to have a skirt and a blouse made out of the two different fabrics with these patterns from Lady Marlowe. I remember attempting to make this skirt before when I first started sewing and it was a lot more complicated than it looks on this envelope. Pretty sure I could figure it out now though. And then we have this one that I thought was Super chic and looks pretty easy and quick to complete. But every time I say that, it ends up being a nightmare. And then I have this skirt pattern for a circle skirt that I've made before that could possibly go with the blouse pattern. But then I also have this with the overskirt, but I don't think I have enough fabric for the overskirt. So that's probably a no. And then I thought this was really chic and I could put on a really cute belt and some really cute shoes um, and it does have sleeves which is what I wanted but I'm a little bit nervous about this collar there because I struggle with collars but then I had this and so I was thinking this dress with the jacket could be super chic I would do the three-quarter length sleeves but I do it this way without a collar because me and collars are just like not friends. It makes me a little weird, scared of this neckline because I sh just struggle with my stitches being sharp enough and precise enough. So these are the options. I am going to take the next probably three hours to narrow it down and then we'll come back. Decided to go with this one. I'm going to do the belt in the plain black Balenciaga that I have, and I think I'm going to add a three-quarter length sleeve. This should be easy enough, and I should be able to get this done. So, I know I want to wear these shoes and carry this purse. These shoes are my tried and true Kate Spades I got for my college graduation. They are so comfortable. I wear them too. Anything that requires me standing on my feet a long time, um, that is a nighttime event. And this just really looks like New Year's Eve to me. So we need to find some fabric that's gonna look good with it. So here's what I came up with. The Kate Spades, the black Gucci purse, the retro butterick sewing pattern, and this beautiful brocade fabric that I've had in my stash for a while. So I'm excited to use it and this is gonna look good. And I found these authentic vintage gloves. Um, I had them tucked away and I got them when we went to um, South Carolina, Haley and Stephanie and I. And so I'm gonna wear those and it's gonna be great. So we better get started. And get started is just what I did with excitement and anticipation of New Year's Eve and 2023 and all of the great things that are to come. I got all of the tissue paper and the instructions out of the envelope. I have roughly cut all of the tissue pattern pieces. There's only seven in total 
and I need to decide what size I'm gonna cut them to. And, and I'm leaning more towards a size 18. I thought that I was going to be able to add in um, a three quarter length sleeve, but this is an all in one sleeve. This pattern's from 61, and we all know an all in one sleeve was pretty popular um, with the vintage patterns. I learned that from watching the Closet Historian. She does a lot of all in one sleeve garments. So we will not be altering the sleeve because I don't really want to deal with whatever that would take changing the bodice which probably wouldn't be that difficult but yeah I'm not doing it so the seven pattern pieces so we have one and two the bodice front will be cut on the fold bodice back you cut two those two are some facing pieces that is the sash piece number five and then over here we have pieces six and seven which are the skirt pieces so I'm gonna get started with getting all this cut out and this should be a fairly simple make, I'm hoping. So I'm getting the pattern pieces pinned on this lovely brocade fabric. And in hindsight, I'm really wishing I had of made the alteration that I wanted for this dress. And as I move into 2023, my third year of sewing, or third and a half, I guess, third and a half of sewing, third on YouTube. I definitely want to start hacking up these patterns. I want to start de designing my own patterns and doing things that really suit me and alterations and just all of the things. So I'm really looking forward to that. So I finally cut everything out that really did not take long at all. But then we're going to start with the bodice. I've cut in the notches. The first thing I need to do is get the darts put in. So this is piece number one, the bodice front that was cut on the fold. So as I'm tracing all of the markings for the darts in place onto the front pieces number one, as well as the two piece number twos, which are the back, I am thinking about the end of the year as it's coming and what I want to sew for the new year, what skills I want to pick up, what goals I want to set for myself. And I imagine that I will do one of those videos. I want to pick 12 um, vintage reproduction patterns that I am going to do sew alongs for this year. And then I want to pick six patterns that are authentic vintage patterns that I going to sew this year and so if you have any recommendations for the vintage reproductions that are out that you would like to see me sew please feel free to leave those in the comments if you have any recommendations for skills you think I should focus on picking up this year then please leave those as well but the first thing first is I want to finish some of the things that I have unfinished my ufos as we call them in the sewing community i want to get those finished it is hard to start a new year on a clean slate when you have all of these projects just laying around i believe i have four of those and so over the next month or two i'm going to be working on getting those completed before i move into some new things um but you know how I am. If I get a fancy to sew up something, I'm usually going to do it. I just want to make sure that I am following through with the things I start to sew. I can get bored very easily or if I get hung up on a certain step or if things aren't coming along the way I would have liked, I will often just scrap it and start over and sew. I really want to get those UFOs finished. That is one of my main goals for this 2023 sewing year. So what you have seen me do is steps 11 and 12, where I took pieces number six, which are the skirt back, and seamed them at center back, leaving it open above the notch for the zipper. And then I attached the front to the skirt back at the side edges. 
Okay, so back to sewing goals. If anyone has any sewing goals they would like to share with me in the comments, please do that. I would love to hear some big project you're going to work on or some skill you would like to learn or something you already know that you just would like to master. I'd love to hear all about it. So please feel free to share. I think this is where I'm going to leave it for the day. I have the bodice pinned at the shoulder seams where it needs to be stitched. My darts are in. They are pressed. These are the back and the front facing pieces. I have the skirt seamed together and the gathering stitches put at the waist. I need to cut the belt out of the plain black, but we made pretty good progress for today. Wednesday, December 28th, so we're doing pretty good. Still a few more days till New Year's Eve, so looking good. We'll pick this back up tomorrow. So welcome back to day two of my New Year's Eve dress. There is not a whole lot to do. We left off yesterday with me pinning um, the bodice front and back at the shoulders. So that needs to get stitched. I've already put in the two rows of gathering stitches to the skirt. So we're gonna need to get the bodice attached to the skirt. I still need to cut the waist sash out of the plain black Balenciaga that I have. And then hem and zipper, and there's just not a lot left. This has been a pretty easy, pattern to follow. It's been a fun sewing project. So that was, I'm glad that I chose this one. It was a really good choice. Um, I've enjoyed the making of it. We should be able to finish it today. We'll see. Um, if not, we'll get almost there and then tomorrow will just require some finishing work. So let's get started. So I'm gonna start with the shoulder seams and then we'll go from there. I think for me this past year, especially since I started working again outside of our home, it's been a real struggle for me to find the time to sew without feeling guilty about it. But just here very recently, I realized that sewing, I'm not doing it just for YouTube or to make a pretty dress or whatever. I do it because it is medicine for my soul. It forces me to slow down and which could be another reason why it takes me so long to make garments but it focuses me to slow down and to create something with my own two hands in such a very peaceful way and so I think it's essential that I make time to sew and I had that talk with my family and they understand that so I don't have to feel guilty it's okay to have something that is just for you, okay? I'm cutting out the sash now. The instructions say cut two from fabric and cut two from contrast. And so I ended up cutting two from fabric and we're gonna cut two from contrast. Also, I still had a little bit of the fashion fabric for the dress left and I know I'm not gonna use it for anything else. Um, I had originally wanted to do the entire sash black so I thought that would be a really cool touch. But now I think it's just going to be black in the front and then this in the back, um, the way it wraps around. So uh, this is all that's left of that of the dress fabric. And so I really just wanted to use it up. There's not going to be enough left to do anything with. And then it looks something like this. So it will be black in the front and then the fashion fabric in the back. So that's what we're doing. We're on step 10 and we're almost done because we've already done steps 11 and 12 and 13. So we got to do the sash, sash, the sash situation, attach, zipper, hem, and then finishing work and we're done. So now we have all four of the sash pieces cut out and each one is gonna have to be hemmed five eighths of an inch on every edge except for this notched one. So I'm gonna go do that now. And what a waste of time that was. I must have been very tired at that point because the cut to contrast or cut to fabric, it just depends on if you wanted a contrast or if you wanted to use the same fabric. You only need to 
So please do not cut four and hem all four of them like I did. So I got the two, the only two that you need, pinned in place and took them over to the sewing machine. And that is what you see me doing now. I decided to go with the two black ones instead of the two that matched the fabric. Um, I think either or will be fine, just depending on your preference. So I got the side seam stitched in. For some reason, I don't know how I was reading the instructions, but I did not need to cut four. So I wasted a lot of time cutting and hemming all four of those when two is all you need. They were The instructions were basically if you were going to contrast, not whatever I thought was happening. But we're to the point where I just need to hem the sleeves and then get the skirt attached and the zipper and the hem and all that but this is the bodice it's looking good so there we are let's get this skirt attached so i've gathered it down this fabric frays so much so i've just been going in and cutting it with these pinking shears once i get this attached i'll pink it more all right, so I'm gonna get started getting this skirt attached, which is probably gonna be a bit of a task. So, oh, this was a nightmare getting this pinned in place with all of these loose threads everywhere. So now I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and very slowly and very carefully get it stitched on. So you just seen the gathering completed. That was definitely a task. Once I got it attached to the bodice with pins, I took it to the sewing machine, and this was a bit of a process. This skirt is gathered down so densely, I had to take it really slow and be careful not to run over any of the pins. Paying attention to the front and the back of the skirt so you can make sure you're not stitching over a part of the skirt that you shouldn't be. This is what I did. So some parts of the skirt had to be unpicked, readjusted, pinned again, and then stitched again. So after the step of attaching the bodice, which required the gathering and pinning and stitching and unpicking and restitching again, there were only a few steps left to complete this dress. One being the hem, the second being the zipper, and the third being the hemming of the sleeves. You see me here now putting in the hem. I want to be honest and say, though there was not a lot left, the hem is being done well into the first week of 2023. I did not wear this dress on New Year's Eve for a fancy night on the town. My husband and I took our children on a bit of a staycation where we got to enjoy room service and an indoor pool and watch the countdown on TV like most of Americans do. Major, you gonna make it till midnight? Mm -hmm. You are? Mm -hmm. I've been doing it for eight years. You've been doing this for eight years? Yeah. And I wish you all tell me I want to go to a swimming pool. Okay, in the morning we'll go back to the swimming pool. Yeah, I wake up, yeah, I wake you up, I guess, and I say, Mommy, you would go to the swimming pool. Okay. 23, Maverick, how does it feel? Horrible. I'm tired. <laughs> Happy New Year. Major, what are you most looking forward to in 2023? I'm going to turn You're going to turn five, but okay. So let's jump back into the dress. I definitely really like this dress. I am a bit short-waisted, and I know that I've learned that. So I definitely feel like I should have raised the waistline an inch or two, 
But other than that, I really love it. I don't have it tied correctly in the back because there's no one here to do it. I did it myself. But overall, I think this neckline is a little, little high for my taste. But overall, it looks really, really good. I love the fullness of the skirt. I love the shoes I've paired with it. I've paired with it. Um, it was a, it was fun to make, even though it took a while. So, let's check out the final photos. I sewed a proper party dress that is made for twirling. Do I love this dress? Yes. Do I feel great in it? Yes. Does it have fit issues? Yes. Am I sad that I didn't wear it on New Year's Eve and that I stayed in a hotel room with my family? No, I am not. I will wear this dress somewhere, hopefully very soon. And as I head off, I hope to see you in my next video that is soon and sure to come.